Hey guys, so this is going to be due Monday. Um, this is not exactly what it's going to look like because you're seeing my whole screen here, but uh, this is the Voltaic Cell, question 61, 62, 63, and then I added a 64th, so, uh, or I added a number 64. <laughs> that was weird. Um, so 61, you're going to balance, okay? So um, you can just type in the numbers here. And remember, AL solid is zero and CU solid is zero. We did these before you're balancing mass and charge. 62, 63, um, as voltaic cell operates, the mass of AL, so this one decreases. Explain in terms of particles why this decrease occurs. Um, and then 63, what is the function of that salt bridge? So you're gonna type your answers here, 62, 63. And then 64 is a multiple choice here. Just highlight your answer or change the text color. So if it operates correctly, which of the following describes correct direction of electron flow? And then you read those and pick which one. Um, so uh, what I'm gonna do now actually is just take five minutes and rip through a quick example of a voltaic cell to kind of help you guys here. Uh, and then hopefully this little video will help you do the homework. All right, do that worksheet. Okay, here we go. So uh, let's go with purple here today. All right, so if you have a beak, oops, my daughter. She likes the big, the big ones. Okay, if you have a beaker with solution and another beaker with solution, and there's a salt bridge here, this is a salt bridge, and you have a piece of metal here and a piece of metal here connected to a voltmeter or a light bulb or something. Okay. Um, and I'm actually going to color that a different color here. So let's say this piece of metal here um, is one color. And then let's say this piece of metal here is a different color. All right. And let's say, all right, let's say this is, um, let's say, um, zinc. And let's say this one is gold, AU. So the way to figure out which one is the anode or cathode, and actually, you know what? That's just occurred, occurred to me. I'm going to add that to the worksheet as well. Um, you go to, jeez, did I close it? I must have. You go to table J. Here's table J. H-I-J. And the more reactive is the anode. So higher up is the anode. So zinc is here. And gold is way down here, the least reactive. So that means my zinc is my anode and my gold is my cathode. So I know electrons flow from anode to cathode through the wire. So the electrons come out here and they go here. You know what? Um, let me use a different color here. Uh, we'll use this color. This here is the salt bridge, right? So I'm just going to color that so it's a little more, you know, easier to see. So there's your salt bridge. All right. So this is the salt bridge, which allows ions to migrate. So ions are going back and forth. You get your positive ions in here going this direction. So this builds up positive. Negative ions go here. Okay, I know I'm kind of jumping around, but anode loses electrons, anox, Leo, red cat, um, so reduced. So your electrons go through the wire from zinc to AU, from the zinc metal to uh, gold. Um, that's how it works. So this will lose mass because it's losing electrons. And then this will gain mass, fat cat gains mass because it's gaining the electrons. Again, the salt bridge allow ions to flow. Um, and uh, let's see here. That's kind of it. That's enough to do the homework for the most part, I believe. And if I gave you a reaction, it would, oops, it would look like this. So if I gave you a balanced reaction, it would be Zn0 plus Al plus 3 yield Zn plus 2 plus Al0. And plus six would be the charge, three and two. So I need three here and two there. So mass is balanced, two and two, three and three, plus six, plus six. That's, that's stuff we've already gone over. So, um, so yeah, eventually gold gets skinnier, zinc, or gold gets bigger, fat cat, zinc gets skinnier, loses mass. Eventually battery dies, electrons always go anode to cathode. 
through the wire. Um, salt bridge allows ions to go back and forth. Anions go to anode. Cations go to cathode. All right. Um, so I will add one more question here to this. Um, number 65, maybe on a separate sheet there. What What is the anode? What is the cathode? And all those questions pertain to this. All right. I'm going to stop. I'll see you guys Monday.